if you want to make sure that uh, you live a happy life and um, you have all the freedoms you can have, then the place you live in, like the location, may play a very important role here. And in this video I would like to give you five reasons, like five crucial points why it is important. And yes, and one of the first reasons is actually the freedoms, you know, in different countries, in different um, places, you have completely different freedoms available. And in some cultures you have these rights, in other cultures different rights, different laws, everything, you know. So before moving into some country or before actually considering a new place to live, because you want to go where you can have the best life, uh, then really check out the local laws and also the tendencies, you know, because it can be in one country that 20 years ago it was a completely different, you know, kind of life, different laws, different possibilities, different circumstances. And now 20 years back, um, 20 years later, completely different situation. So you should not only like check what it is like now, but also see what are the tendencies, how is it going to be in 5 or 10 or maybe 20 years in the future. Maybe 10, five or 10 years is already enough because if things really change dramatically, you can always move somewhere else. But if you look like also, for example, in, in the Western world, you can see that many things change, you know, and in other parts of the world um, as well. Yeah. So 20, 10, 20 years can make a big difference here. So the first thing I would look is the freedoms, making sure that everything like that you want to do in life you are able according to the law and yeah, that the freedoms available in the country are in line with your values this is also very important and it also can depend that some freedoms are <coughs> which were like common sense before are not there anymore and so on so this so this is the first place and mm, the first thing and for me it's like uh, number one because if you don't have the freedom to live the life the way you want then how can you be happy in your way and so the second uh, point that I want to mention is and for me it's also very important but it's like number two when it comes to the place to live and the location to choose for me is the, the beauty of the nature and um, it is actually it's actually more important uh, than you think but also for some people you know some people just love living in the cities they don't need going out outdoors so maybe it's not important for some people but for me it's like one of the uh, crucial points. Uh, one of the reasons I love uh, living here in the Far East, you know, on this Pacific coast here, is because the nature is all around you, it's beautiful, it's nice, it's like, um, it's pretty warm also. So, like, relatively. And, yeah, I think uh, uh, <clears throat> when you never considered going out and really doing things outdoors, it's it's good to do because for many reasons, you know, it's really it's like coming back to the roots. It's like um, finding your own um, inner freedom and so on. Find your peace and uh, going to places like here, for example. I can like for me, I cannot imagine uh, living my life without those moments. And I try to uh, arrange my life in the way that I come <clears throat> and spend as much time in the nature as possible. It's just uh, where I feel also very creative, where I feel very true to myself and so on. So, but it depends on what is your like preferences. 
But again, if you never consider it, um, maybe you should give it a try and really trying to find a place close to the beautiful nature, but not necessarily like a tourist place. It should be somewhere where there are not so many people so that you can really have your, you can really like listen to the sounds of nature. You can really hear the birds singing. You can really, uh, you know, hear the waves and so on instead of this um, mm, when you go to some tourist places you know there's some sometimes there's only the noise coming from from people uh, from all the um, machines and all the cars and everything so it's um, I would say the wilder the places the better of course I watch out for wild uh, animals and uh, try to go to places where it's not dangerous then. but otherwise so I would say this is a very important one for me especially um, the third one I would consider of course is the cost of living this is probably for most of people is a very like understandable thing and I guess that for many people they just think about this first like when it comes to moving somewhere or deciding where to live and so on and the cost of living is really like in some places especially in western countries you can see that the cost of living is uh, dramatically high um, and of course when you can get also something instead like you can you pay a lot for the cost of living but then you if you get a comfortable life for this then yes but you can check out uh, if there are other places around the world where you can, you can get the same level of comfort for the same price or maybe for much like <clears throat> less you know and uh, yeah so the cost of living would be the third thing I would pay my attention to and the fourth thing is the comfort yeah. and nowadays you can really see that in some countries um, you can find the best service for much less you know price so it's really like you, you can che check it out it's uh, not it's not always like it used to be that you are completely certain that the more you pay the better service you get <laughs> very often uh, it's uh, very tricky um, you can go to much cheaper places and get uh, the best service you never expected and it can be different countries in different parts of the world it can be some parts uh, some countries in Asia some countries in Latin America some countries in Europe some places you don't expect or some especially not so popular places suddenly if you really check it out you can find out that uh, there are a lot of um, comfort there and the level of service is just amazing so those two like checking the cost and at the same time the comfort you're getting for for this high price it's a good thing to do yes and the fifth thing i would consider when moving somewhere like if you want to collaborate with some other people if you want to have this community you know where you can meet live and spend time together and really um, do some things together then supporting each other also on your um, entrepreneurial journey then it would be great to look for those places where those people hang out Otherwise, you can do it also online, you know, you can join communities like like this one here. Uh, for This channel, for example, is for people who want to build freedom in life and uh, live the life on, on your own terms, you know. But if you are more interested in having, you know, the community uh, at the place, then it's good to, to check it out, and especially if you are not like and extrovert you know and you really need a lot of community going on um, in your life 
if you want to participate in different you know activities then make sure that uh, it's all around the corner so you can really get there and meet people and visit places you need so uh, if you're more an introverted type of person if if you are fine with uh, getting to know people online and uh, uh, you don't need so much community and yeah, nowadays you can also partner up online easily and uh, that's why yeah <coughs> this is not like uh, very necessary but for some people it can be also crucial you know if you go somewhere on a island and there's nobody there then if you are an extrovert then it can be very lonely for you so those five things I would consider when choosing the place to live, like making sure you live the um, best life you can have. Are those, you know, the, the freedoms you, that are available in the place, um, the beauty of the nature, you know, the cost of living, the comfort you can get for it, and the community you also get. Because also you can move to some country and everybody speaks a completely different language and sometimes you are not even into learning the language and so on so make sure you check all those things out before you decide uh, where you want to move otherwise also actually consider <coughs> also checking out uh, checking when and like why you want to move because sometimes people are just not happy and try and want to move somewhere and think that their life is going to change but if you don't fix things um, in your life like in your mind then it can be that you move to some other place and you uh, meet the same problems that you used to have so sometimes people want to move to escape from their own inner trouble but um, then moving somewhere will not help you because you are taking all the trouble with you, all this baggage with you. So make sure you let go this baggage beforehand. Yeah? This is why it's so important to work with your mindset. And as for myself, I've been living in different parts of the world. And if you have read my uh, book, you know about it. And if you're curious to know more, then check check it out. It's uh, on Amazon. It is linked in the description below, so you can check it out. It's on personal development, and there I also reveal a lot of like um, biographical facts about my life. <clears throat> and because I've been living in different places of the world, I also can compare those things, you know, and the and understand the importance of all those uh, five criteria that I mentioned above and let me know also in the comments if maybe there are some other things that you would like to add to this list and uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you are new um, also say hello in the comments make sure to give this video a like if you watched that far it means you liked it and hopefully I will see you in the next video